Hey, you two, what's up? This Ray Mack. Check this out. I'm doing something different. I ain't doing no voiceover, but this is what I got right here in the pot. Just some chicken thighs. I ain't got no seasoning on it right now, but I'm about to season these things up. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do step by step. And I'm just going to talk over this thing because I ain't doing no voiceover. This is it, y'all. And plus, I'm going to hold the phone, too. All right? So it's going to be a lot of movement, but I'm going to try to keep it steady as possible. Chill out with me. Take a seat. Kick your feet back. Uh, let's go. All right, this is what we're about to do right now. Take some of these um, onions. Then I got like um, over half a half a stick um, of butter, just a little bit over half. All right, and um, in this water, how I got the water filled up in this here, I put the chicken in first, and I just want the the, um, the water just to come just a little bit above the top, not completely um, covering the chicken, but just a little bit. So I'm just gonna add these in. All right, now let me go get my seasonings. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and season this stuff up now. If my mama was doing this right now, she'll be doing it. She'll season it up pretty much the same way that I'm going to show y'all right now how if she was doing it, right? she just use your old basic salt, you know what I mean? That's about a good amount of salt. We'll know at the end, but this is something that my mama would do, y'all. And that's the reason, one of the reasons why I love it. And she loved pepper in her food. She love it. I'm telling you, man, that brings out the flavor. And then I'm using some of this here chicken flavor, right? This is what she would do. And so after that, what I'm gonna do at the end of this right here, I'm gonna stir this up and I'm gonna blend it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it for y'all right now. And get this here blended in. It smells good right now, y'all. I tell you, yeah. this is going to be some stewed chicken. All right. Now, that was your basic stuff right there. So, now what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to put a cover on this right here and let it cook down for at least around about a good hour or so. And if I, if it need water, um, if the water reduces, I just go ahead and add more water to it. So, let me go ahead and do that, and I'm going to come right back and, and show you the, um, the after results. All right. This is how I used to do most of my videos, y'all. With the foam in my hand and working with one hand, camera moving all like this. This is how I used to do it. Check out some of my old previous videos. You'll see. But look, you, if you can see the water then rimmed down on these chicken thighs, right? And this is what I like. All right? See that chicken thigh still together? Right? So what I'm going to do now, because I want these things to stew, y'all. And I'm going to turn the heat down to at least to the lowest point. No, not the lowest point, but in between um, two and four. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be about a little, um, a little low heat, y'all. So what I'm going to do now, I got some flour and I got some water. I'm going to make some slurry. I'm going to thicken this um, stuff up. So I'll just put a little bit. If y'all notice, man, look, I don't do no measurements, y'all. So everything that I'm doing, basically, I'm eyeballing. And I'm holding the foam up here still with one hand. You don't want this to be thick because I'm not tempering this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So some people take some of the um, fluid from the pot, put it into a bowl, and then they put the flour in. They make their slurry or whatever like that. But I'm just doing this just like this. This is the way my mama did it. This is the way she showed me to do it. I'm going to keep it just like mama did. And just put a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It's already pretty much at that consistency where I want it. I told you I ain't cutting. I ain't doing too much cutting on this video. Because I'm making stewed chicken. The way my mama all showed me. So I'm just going to take it. I need to, I'm still working with one hand. I got to make this one quick. See, watch this. I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. All right, man. I got to hurry up. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep the whisk on this side. On the right side. All right. Put some more slurry in this here. Put all that. Hurry up and spin this around before it turns the dough. I'm on no dumpling. All right, and let this stew down. And you know, some people, man, they do, they put like 
um, carrots, celery, and all the other kind of good or good, whatever they want in there. But now nah, I'm just keeping it basic, man. When I tell y'all this is how my mama did it, this is how she did it, you know, over some rice. So that's what I'm gonna have with it too, some rice. So I'm gonna let this cook. But before I do, this is something my mama don't do. All right. So I'm gonna add in. I gotta open this stuff up. I'll be right back. All right. First thing I wanna do, y'all, before I add something to, I wanna taste this just to make sure that the seasoning and the salt is all right. If you can see, you can see the seasoning in there, right? I just wanna taste it to make sure that the salt balance is right. Yeah, the salt taste, the salt is there. I don't need to add no salt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some of this here onion and um, garlic blend. This stuff is good, y'all. Like I, I tell y'all in the videos, I got this at Ross, and this stuff is some good stuff. And my mama don't do this, but this is what I do at the end. So my mama don't really add nothing else to it. She just let that cook on down. So this is some um, oregano, basil, and tomato spice blend, all right? And that's all I want in that. A little bit more. So if y'all ever at Ross, man, go over there and check that, that little section out where they sell in their the, um, the little kitchen area. Go check that section out, man. They got some good spices, man. I'm telling you. All right. So I got my chicken stewing. Put this back up. So I'm going to let this stew for about uh, another 45 minutes or so. Okay, y'all. Y'all got to check this out now. This is still stewing, right? And this stuff right now is smelling good. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And it's looking good. So some of the skin is coming off some of this here chicken, which I love because that flavor is in that skin. That's what's flavoring up this here stew also. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about mad flavor, y'all. I ain't playing with y'all. This some real country fried stuff right here. This is what we call good down home freaking eating, y'all. Okay, y'all. I am done with this. All right, this is done. I told you, man. It won't much to this. You know what I mean? And you're talking about mad flavor, killer flavor, flavor all up in this just stew right here, y'all. I'm telling you. And look at the chicken. The chicken didn't break up on me. You feel me? Chicken didn't break up on me at all. Like I say, it's mad flavor in that skin. That's the reason why I didn't pull the skin because I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. So I'm gonna plate this up over a bed of rice. Just look at this great. Look at this stew. Look at it. It's that stewed chicken. I'm finna give me some rice, man. I got it in the microwave. That's that noise you hear in the background. Got my rice in the microwave. And I'm gonna chow down on this. Ooh, look at this. Look, look at my stew. Chicken. All right, y'all. Let me give me a taste of this, y'all. I swear I gotta do this. This is, boy, this is off the chain. Off the chain. All right. Check y'all later. Okay, y'all, we're going to do a little something different with this here chicken stew right quick, y'all. I got a skillet on the stove, and I got some olive oil right here, right? I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Matter of fact, let me dump, dump in this here butter. I got three-fourths, uh, I'm sorry, that's one-fourth of butter right there, along with some olive oil. All right. Then I want to put in just a little bit of this here garlic, about about a tablespoon or so, but just a little bit. Then I'm gonna put in just some of these red flakes. Ooh, that a little too much. Gonna have some heat on that, y'all. A lot of pepper. Just wanna mix this on up. Yeah, we wanna melt this butter down. Get some oil right here. We're gonna take this on. Um, Little dish to another level. It's gonna be a little heat on this. It's gonna have some garlic flavor. Get everything mixed in. Then right. I got my stove on medium high. See if 
y'all can see this right quick. The rest of that butter melted up. Told y'all, I'm gonna try to edit as less as possible on this video. I'm giving y'all the full blast. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do while I got y'all on here, I'm gonna go across here, side to keep y'all beaming at the floor, but I'm gonna grab my pasta, shake it up. This is some linguine, y'all, okay? I'm just gonna toss it in that sauce. All right, put it back in the sink and grab. Grab my tongue, give it some nice little toss. And basically, all we want to do with this. I'm not even going to add no salt to this because that um, stew is already seasoned. See, this is all you want to do right here, y'all. See that? y'all see how the flavors are marrying together right here. All right. So I'm going to show you um, a plate, man, of how my mom would do it. And this is pretty much what I would do with this here stew. Add a new twist to things, y'all. You know what I mean? So you can see that's flavor. Let's go ahead and plate this thing right on up. Y'all look here, I forgot. I'm going to add a little Parmesan to this. Might as well, right? Got some of that left in the fridge. From them baked potatoes, so. Might as well use it up, right? Mmm, that smells good. Yeah, that smells good. Now let's get it off the stove. All right, y'all, here we go. This is the stewed chicken right here. All right? Old-fashioned, down-home stewed chicken. So, grab one of these here stewed chickens right here. Yes, then we're going to put it right over here on this bed of rice. I'm going to grab one more. Just want y'all to see this now. Mm-hmm. Put that over there on that bed of rice. And then I'm gonna get some of this here stew. Like I said, you could add whatever type of vegetables you like. Get some of this stew with some of this meat in it. And just run it. Run it on up on there. Get it all up in there. Let it get all up in that rice. This is stewed chicken, y'all. There we go, stewed chicken. This is how your mama would serve it right here, but you know, at the end, I went and added my own little twist or whatever like that. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do this one. All right, with the fettuccine. With all that garlic curd. We're gonna get that fatty right there. Yes, take that enough. We're gonna move this one to the side a little bit. Come on over here, get this stewed chicken. See, you can do many things, y'all. See, uncut. This is how I'm giving it to you, uncut. And if you want one more piece, do you want one more piece? Y'all say, no, okay, I'm gonna give you some gravy though. Give you some of this just stew. Put some stew right on top of that. Put some stew right on that. Little bit more stew, okay. Give y'all a little bit more stew. A little bit more stew on those fettuccine noodles. There you go. There you go. You see? Now that's stew right there. Southern stew. And you can do whatever you want with stew. It don't matter. Make it your own, y'all. Feel me? So as we're looking at this, I'll give you one more look, see? Then I'm about to get on up out here because I got to eat these things, man. I'm telling you. I got to tear it up. I got to mess it right on up. And that was an easy recipe right there. Easy. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. 
And I really hope, man, you guys get a chance to try out some of these here recipes. And I'm telling you right off the bat, they're full of flavor. And dang near fun to fix. But the thing I like the most is when people put their mouth on this here food, man, how they smile and they think of home. Because every time I eat something like this and how my mama used to cook, that's all I do. I think of home. So check out the videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like this here video. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not a Raymax family member. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of up and coming videos. I always say this at the end of every video. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this here video. Next Monday, I'm going to do a liver and onion gravy recipe over a bed of rice so i want you guys to stay tuned for that up and coming video i think you guys will like it and if there are some video requests that you would like to see please leave it in the comment section below and i will see what i can do for you guys i appreciate you and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and share this on your social media site whether it's facebook instagram or twitter peace